way to work, but there was a lot of controversial situation where people are thinking lockdown is going to happen again. I have no idea if that's going to be the possibility or what it's going to be like. Um, I know right now I am working part-time in retail. And if it does happen, how it's going to affect the economy. I've seen a lot of people um, start buying more toilet paper or stocking up on toilet paper and paper towels. So it's kind of like trying to think about this whole thing in perspective. And right now, my mom is like asking me, oh, well, not asking me, telling me, well, demanding that I find toilet paper or buy toilet paper for her when I don't have any more toilet paper to buy because everything at the store is empty the store that I work for so it's kind of like well if I don't have a toilet paper can't buy any so I think she's gonna have to go without toilet paper for a while I know that people are kind of thinking that this is a second wave coming people living in constant fear about the situation and I understand fear is what people are driven by lately due to the coronavirus but in my honest opinion if we keep things locked down for too long we end up in a situation that isn't really good for anybody in the long term um schools i'm seeing are going back to uh virtual um some people some kids i've seen get off buses lately but they are thinking that they might shut down the entire school because i know philadelphia um is closing down um their system but montgomery county where i live is still on the fence on what to do but in my opinion, if we do go into this whole lockdown mode again, it's going to be another hell storm to raise. I don't think it's a good idea. Um, people are starting to get into the normal, the groove of, groove of things. And I know with Biden in office, eventually it's going to be another um, shit storm in some ways. And I mean, I'm not, see, it's, it's a mixture of everything that goes on. So what I have to understand is... In my opinion, what what I need to do to keep myself safe, but still be at work, do what I got to do, come home, you know, and be able to make the adjustments that is necessary. But if you have to go to lockdown again, it's going to drive everyone crazy. I mean, we don't, we can't live like that. The world is not supposed to be in lockdown 24-7 or be in this constant quarantine state or be in this constant state of what's the word I'm looking for you know curfews and all that due to the coronavirus I understand the nature of being safe and being well kept and everything else but we have to be very honest about it that the world's not going to stop living because of the coronavirus we're going to find a vaccine for it I know I heard about it but it's not going to it shouldn't stop us from living our day-to-day life and I don't know what else to think about it. I don't know what else to do. I know a lot of people, like a friend of mine who's a doctor, who's afraid that things are going to shut down because of the coronavirus, um, because his department did get uh, hit hard and then got shut down um, in his, uh, in his uh, hospital, at the hospital he worked for. So, which I understand why he wants, these, uh, wants his department to stay open. Uh, why he voted for Trump. I understand that. But at the same time, though, it doesn't matter what what president is going to stay intact. Overall, in the United States, the Congress makes the final decision on how to perform its act, final act. So knowing that, whatever Congress decides, we have to just follow. The president, yes, may have some certain say in certain things, but in reality, Congress will make the final um, over judgment in everything else. So that's just how it is. And some things we're not going to accept. Some things the Congress is not going to accept. So we have to be very understanding about that too. So I know our, our ju- ju- judicial way of going about things is flawed as well. So, But what isn't flawed? I mean, everything in the world is flawed. And I'm just having my little rant. So knowing that... Um, I had to really be, you know, it's about really being honest about this. It's really be being really honest about ourselves in many cases. We just have to go with the flow of things and see how things are. We just can't, we just have to take it day by day. And no one knows what's going to happen. I have a hard time right now having family watch my kid because of the fact that uh, I can't get anything done. 
you know, I know how my parents are acting right now. I have a sister who is not very, you know, workable when it comes to watching my son. Um, there's a lot of things that are going into this in perspective. And we don't know what to do. We all don't know what to do. And sometimes for me, finding a babysitter is, is a really hard thing, especially when one needs one and we can't. I can't get a babysitter because of the COVID-19 running amok. What are you supposed to do? I don't know. That's just my little rant right now. Someone had to work. And I'll talk to you guys later.